You know the old saying, even a blind squirrel finds a nut? Well, folks, this is one of those times where the critics and fans happen to agree on a movie at the box office. And that movie just happens to be Borderlands. The movie that was um, put out by Lionsgate, starring Kate Blanchett, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Jack Black, Kevin Hart. Uh, it's an adaptation of the, bo- of the video game Borderlands. Well... <laughs> now that we got the weekend box office numbers, um, I think it's safe to say Borderlands is a bust. I mean, here you go, folks. Weekend box office. Deadpool and Wolverine, still number one in week three. We'll get to that later. Uh, it ends with us, number two. Uh, Twisters in week four. It's at number three. It's had a pretty good run, Twisters has. But then you have Borderlands, um, 88, $8.8 million opening weekend. Ouch. The full financials here, according to the numbers is 8.8 million domestic, uh, not even 1.2 million international. So just under $10 million worldwide box office. That's according to the numbers. Now, I'm going to show you a couple articles that kind of say otherwise. But first, let's take a look at Rotten Tomatoes. All critics score Rotten Tomatoes 9%. 9 out of 102 critics like this movie. Thought it was fresh. That averages out to a 3.3 out of 10. The fans, on the other hand, they... 50%. That's the verified audience. All audience... 38%. Now, I said it in my previous video, which I'll link up in the box here, just up over here somewhere, um, that they were going for a Guardians of the Galaxy vibe when you saw the the trailer dropped, but I think they failed in that respect. So here you have comicbook.com. Borderlands flops with abysmal opening weekend box office. According to reporting from Variety, the movie came in fourth place of the domestic box office, just bringing in $8.8 million. Already went through number one, two, three, and four ahead of it. Um, worse, outside North America with the movie making $7.7 million overseas. Now, I don't know where they got that $7.7 million number because if you see here, IGN says the same thing. 7.7 million overseas. They're saying the movie did 16.5 million. 16.5 million. I bet both these websites are pulling from Variety, would be my guess. Uh, t- typically, I like going with the numbers. They seem to be pretty accurate when it comes to box office. Um, So here we have in the IGN article, Pitchford worked as an executive producer on the film adaptation of Borderlands and isn't letting the underwhelming critical and commercial response get him down. In fact, he took to Twitter X over the weekend to say this. So what you're saying is you like what my friends and I do with our Borderlands video games even more than you like what some of the biggest and best cast and crew of the filmmakers on the planet have done. I'm super flattered. We're working extra hard for you on what's next. Um, so that's a hint that we got a fourth Borderlands game coming out, which is cool. The games, you know, it's been a while since I played a Borderlands game, but I remember the original. I thought it was pretty decent back in the day. So here's some other posts from X regarding the movie. I left my Borderlands movie ticket in the car and someone broke in to leave three more. (laughs) Sorry, Borderlands fans, but laugh out loud. The creators of the video game right now. Let's take a look at these real quick here, shall we? (laughs) I love it. Love it. Got the Dragon Ball references and images in there. Love it. Um... Oh, I already opened that one. <laughs> Let's go to this one. The creators right now. 
Uh, Borlands and Harold the Purple Crayon competing for who will be the biggest flop of 2024. Yeah, Harold the Purple Crayon. I don't even I don't even know what that one is. Uh, take two CEO Strauss Zelnick previously urged people to give the film a chance despite the negative critical reception that emerged from early reviews. Telling IGN, a lot of people worked really hard on it. The underlying intellectual property is phenomenal. The cast is amazing. I think the look and feel is really terrific. Well, you may think so. I know Grace Randolph thinks so because I saw her review. She liked it. In fact, top critics, by the way, is at 0%. We're going to go to all critics. Let's go to, let's scroll down here a little way. See our first fresh one. Visually, the film does a commendable job replicating the shell sated or cell shaded look of the games, but the stylistic achievement only serves to highlight the film's overall emptiness. A quasi decent video game adaptation. Quasi decent. I'm looking here and I cannot find. I know I watched Grace's review. Oh, there it is. I've never played the games, but I got a kick out of Blanchett starring in this movie like this and doing a great job. I do wish the script had been adjusted a bit better to accommodate her age. Blanchett fans will enjoy this. Not sure about anyone else. Um, Grace. Nobody enjoyed this movie. But I digress. So there you have it. Borderlands, big flop. Oh, did I mention this had a $110 million budget plus another 30 million in marketing? So we're totaling 140 million here and it only did just under 10 million its opening weekend. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a big L for Lionsgate. So there you have it, Borderlands. Opening weekend, flop. Comment down below, did you see the movie? Do you plan on seeing the movie? You gonna wait for it to come out on streaming? Leave a comment. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Both those things really help my help out my channel, help out me, enable me to continue putting out content. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you for watching. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.